Funnel plots are another way to show a health service result compared to its peers. For those reading funnel plots for the first time, they can be a little challenging to understand, so it's best to break it down to show the various components that comprise a funnel plot. The vertical axis shows the result and the horizontal axis shows what is being looked at. In this example, it is the number of anticipated deaths in the population. Just like the adjusted rates in bar charts, 100 is the baseline each health service is working to. These lines in the shape of a funnel, where the chart gets its name from, provide the boundaries of an area in which the health services results are expected to appear. The left hand side shows results from smaller health services and the results on the right hand side from larger health services. Next is the peer group average result. In this example, you can see they are collectively performing better than the expected baseline of 100. Each health services result is plotted on the graph. Some are above and some below the average, but all that appear within the funnel are shown in blue and are within the expected range. Next are the health services outside the funnel. If a health service is in red, its result is deemed statistically higher or worse than expected. Those in green are results deemed statistically lower or better than expected. Each health service should compare with other services on its vertical axis, as these health services have similar population profiles they serve. For example, the health service BR would compare its results to AD, BG and BU, providing opportunities to find out what they are doing differently to achieve more favourable results.